Coronavirus. 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 You know about this whole thing. Coronavirus? Uh, yeah. Sounds kind of familiar. I'm back, I'm not dead or infected, but I'll tell you what I am, and that is pissed off. By now, we're all sick of hearing about coronavirus, which is why I'm making an entire video out of it. But look, I'm going to tackle this whole thing from another, uh, less popular perspective, so buckle up. Since the beginning of this event, Australia as a nation has repeatedly shown just how incompetent it is in dealing with a crisis. The easy answer is to blame the government, which has consistently downplayed and underreacted to coronavirus until recently. And it's been done to death. No, the real red pill here is saved for the general public. I expected the government to make an ass out of our country, but I didn't expect the people to make an even bigger ass out of our country. Like, this is just embarrassing. Panic shoppers, scalpers, hoarders, abusers. Morons flooding to the beaches and the bars, resulting in level 2 restrictions being put on to everyone. And worst of all, are the socialists calling, nay, demanding, for a total lockdown of the country. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Socialism doesn't work. To all those on board with me so far, just remember that no government will ever let any crisis go to waste. I'm not operating under the illusion that life is going to go back to normal after all of this. Unemployment is through the roof, and they're beginning to reshuffle people across the industries. Essential services are being co-opted by the government. Scarcity is being driven by the supermarket chains. People are being isolated from extended families and the wider community. And children are being forced away from their parents and made to stay in school to complete government-mandated curriculums. Am I so out of touch? No. It's the children who are wrong. I know I've been smoking a little bit more than usual because we've all been in quarantine, but... <laughs> and there's an old saying, you know, just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean people aren't following me. Look, all I'm saying is watch out for the signs. The best way to transform society is when the people ask for it willingly. Just make sure the next time you call for total lockdown that you're not being manipulated into sacrificing your liberty for, and I shall emphasize the word illusion here, of security. They've used these kinds of disasters to try and transform society into a socialist one in the past, and as I've already said before, it's never the version they think they're gonna get. I wish I could say that we don't need a governing body to tell us how to run our lives. Dealing with coronavirus should have been common sense. But, as we saw, very few people made a timely or measured response to this. Thank you for coming! I'll see you in hell! So those of us, in the middle, with our heads screwed on right, are stuck. So, be vigilant. Stand up for liberty, but do not forget unity. Do no harm, but do not accept harm done to you. Oh, and by the way, turns out that Greta reckons she's had coronavirus. Well, Greta's been protesting and traveling this entire time, so thanks, Greta, for being one of the people to have spread this virus around probably multiple countries.
And of course, like a good little puppet, she's calling for the same kinds of socialist practices she was calling for for the Extinction Rebellion. By the way, did you guys know that Earth has a new moon? So I got this new simulation app for my birthday and I thought I would try and create a simulation of what this second moon looks like and well this is basically the closest object I could find to represent this second moon it's basically about the same size so there you go there was really no information about how far away this second moon is all the information I could find said that it's been there for about three years and apparently nobody noticed it, but it will eventually move away from here. So, there's that. The idea that you could just turn everything off for two weeks and then just turn it all back on again and it all goes away, that is not the evidence, that is not the facts, that is not the information, and it's not our way through this. We are looking at a situation of at least six months for how we deal with this. It could be much longer than that, it could be shorter. That's unlikely, given the way we're seeing events unfold. There is no reason for people to be hoarding supplies in fear of a lockdown or anything like this. As I've said, we are putting in place scalable and sustainable measures. We are going to keep Australia running. We are going to keep Australia functioning. And I'm telling you that as a father, I'm happy for my kids to go to schools. So let's keep our heads as parents when it comes to this. Let's do the right thing by the country and by each other and follow the proper advice. Now, on bulk purchasing of supplies, stop hoarding. I can't be more blunt about it. Stop it.